Thank you so much, Hélène. Um, I guess we're going to go now into uh, the lighting after the carpets, the lights soon. I guess we'll, uh, this morning was what milk, and uh, we'll have the, the, full, uh, the full house uh, covered from a supply chain perspective. Um, yeah, so it feels good to be here. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Alexandre Bobert, and I'm the chief supply chain officer for Signify. We're going to talk about lighting, but I cannot start uh, without a big thank to you, Martin, uh, to be uh, such a catalyst of the, of the function. Uh, there, should not, there would not be any events like this where Hélène, myself, uh, and others are talking about the practice, about the function, about the innovation in that domain. And I just would like to thank about, uh, from all of the supply chain professionals, uh, Martin and the team that are doing such a great effort to promote the, the function. So, Martin, it is a real pleasure uh, to be here and share what our passion in, into this function. So, uh, we're going to talk about lighting. I will leave you with a short introduction uh, video, and then we'll talk uh, more about uh, Signify and its uh, supply chain. All right, let's go. So, yeah, I'm excited as well. Um, <laughs> welcome to Signify, the number one leading company in lighting. And we provide, you saw some examples, high you know, quality products, simple as a light source. I don't know any of you who knows the U connected uh, bulb that you can have at home. Very smart, but you can have also the traditional light sources, you can have the luminaire, which is a bit smarter, it's, it's in the streets, in, this, in the cities, in your garden, uh, or in the offices. Uh, and then you have all of the super complex system and services, uh, business, these are the three main 
area. The last one could be the Real Madrid Stadium. It could be a big, um, you know, building uh, or bridge here. Um, and you can see the diversity of products, of services that we have, but also you saw the, the multitude of applications uh, just in that short uh, video, just absolutely amazing. So we're the number one in, in lighting, in connected, in LED, in conventional. It's about 7.5 billion euro in sales, 7.5 billion just in lighting products and services. That's impressive. It's about 35,000 uh, people around the, the world, and we are carbon neutral since uh, 2020. So. Um, just just in, in a s snapshot, I would like to give you a, a few more numbers. First, we invest a lot in R&D, we innovate. That's the theme of, of uh, the last 48 hours. There's lots of uh, new introductions of product. We'll talk about it maybe in uh, Design for Supply Chain later in our Q&A, but it's, it's an amazing innovation, uh, innovating company. 83% um, of LED sales uh, today Give a guess on what, how much it was about 10 years ago. Well, it was 22%. So just in 10 years, this industry has shifted completely into LED technology, which is representing 83% uh, today of our sales. So the shift just in, tech, in technology in 10 years is massive. Uh, we have about 42 awards. Uh, last year, 10 were with the IF uh, Design Awards. We are uh, owning about 20,000 uh, patents uh, worldwide. And the striking one is we have 114 million connected light points. Connected light points, it's a bulb that basically has an IP address that is connected uh, into a network and is a node of a network. We'll talk about it a bit later. It was nothing 10 years ago. So there's a rapid growth of uh, connected lighting in our industry. And you can see a few other numbers where we make contribution, obviously. 29% uh, of our revenue is in secular, 65% in, in climate actions. So quite impressive. And you will easily understand that the purpose of the company, it's not about declaring that we're doing something about, about climate. We are part uh, of the climate actions. This is our purpose. We save energy and we contribute to the society with a program which is a brighter life and a better world. And we want to extract the phenomenal potential of light uh, to, that, to serve that, that purpose. And here, this is a bit more articulated, brighter life, uh, better world. What it means is to obviously continue our actions uh, on the climate. It's all about the LED and other um, uh, solutions that we have to reduce energy. It's about the circular economy. The 3D printing that we saw is, is a prime example there. But it's also the three themes here, uh, food availability, safety, and health and well-being that are really emerging in our society. Uh, and, uh, and, and we see that growing massively to become, uh, by 2025, 32% of our revenue. And great place to work. It's obviously also le being a leader in, uh, in innovation in that, uh, in that domain. Um, I'm not going to go too much into the details, but you can see the five main growth areas that we are pursuing. Climate action, it's uh, continuing to transform uh, the conventional to the LED business. There's still a lot to capture in offices, in streets, in, uh, in, uh, in buildings everywhere. I need to check if it, these are LED, but you know, uh, everywhere I go, I'm checking if, if this is converted or not, because this is an opportunity to save uh, energy. Circular economy, we talked about it a bit. We have a, a lot of uh, product coming, and there's a big demand. I think f food availability is, is impressive. It's not just uh, horticulture. It's also um, uh, growing uh, fish, it, uh, growing uh, uh, vegetables, they, all kind of uh, growing area here in any part of the world, uh, we see that part uh, being a, a big on you know, big demand. Emerging one is safety and security. It's about light uh, and detection of uh, motion detection and uh, security with our um, uh, light becoming a, a wavelength to transmit data. I don't know any of you know about the Li-Fi technology. We all know about Wi-Fi. Well, guess what? Light is a mean to transfer data in a secure way. 
and we have already um, a test being done in military operations uh, because you cannot transmit Wi-Fi. You need a very secure uh, high-speed connection, and light is one uh, of the option. And also in airplanes, uh, we've seen uh, light becoming uh, a way to communicate data. And why airlines are interested? Because there are less cable, it's one node, and the light uh, brings you light and connections. So these are a few other things that are coming. Health and well-being also is, um, is a big one emerging. Uh, we're, we spend a lot of time uh, either at home or in the office, and uh, we don't spend enough time with the, 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 the light of, uh, of the sun. And this is a, a fantastic product uh, with a lot of success in, uh, in offices. All right, we got a massive number of uh, recognitions over the years. This is just uh, for 2022. We are recognized not just because our revenue serves the purpose of sustainability, but because also our operations uh, have become sustainable since 2020. Maybe we'll talk about scope three opportunities uh, later on. Uh, so very proud of that. Uh, I just want to say Signify is a brand, but there's 50 brands behind. It's, it's a massive leader. Uh, in its uh, domain, in its, its uh, industry. You know, of course, maybe the Philips uh, lighting brand that is historical uh, from 130 years ago. But uh, we have uh, uh, 50 brands that are uh, top-notch in their domain, being professional, being consumer, or uh, else. Um, and then I want to just, uh, before I switch to the supply chain uh, element, I just want to recap that we've gone through multiple waves of transformation, of innovations, technology uh, breakthrough, uh, from the historical incandescent uh, lamps that, is, that was born with, with Philips. We had the first introduction of LED in 2008, which then exploded completely. And little by little, we got more into the more complex um, uh, lighting solutions. And the last one is now light is a sensor, light is a mean to convert and to transmit uh, information. And we're entering in a complete IoT uh, type of data um, uh, services type of environment. All right, I'll go into the supply chain, uh, but I wanted to give you the context of a fast uh, innovating uh, industry. And of course, I have to adapt, I had to adapt to that, and I I'm going to start just with first my introduction. I think you, for those that are reading the fascinating uh, paper every quarter uh, from Martijn, uh, uh, you will know everything about, about myself and uh, how I've grown into this uh, lighting industry, but I'm, I'm really proud to, to be to working for this company. I just wanted to have a quiz just with you, if you, if you allow, just uh, uh, as an introduction. One of those is not correct. I'll let you pick just to see... Uh, Give you a few seconds. Which one do you think I have never done? <laughs> All right. Well, I'll give you now the hint. I, I never drove uh, a Formula One, uh, but yes, I'm a I'm a scientist guy. I like uh, numbers. I'm a structure. I'm a rocket scientist. Um, I like windsurfing. I skydived. I did score uh, a goal in Ultra Fort. For those that like soccer, uh, I, I I wanted to make sure in FIFA Challenge that I have the. That, that, just, that's, that's me. <laughs> All right. Um, so supply chain, you saw the different uh, avenues of uh, revenue stream. I just want to, to quote a bit uh, from a complexity perspective. It's, it's quite massive. Uh, 50,000 customers. I have 78 distribution centers in the world. We have about 56 manufacturing with different type of product, obviously being, uh, uh, being made there and about 3,000 uh, bill of material suppliers. So that's, that complexity is, is interesting. It's not a one-to-one, -one, obviously. I would like just to quote that I have actually four types of archetypes. And we, maybe we'll discuss about design for supply chain and the, the, the things like this, but you all know those terminology of MTS, MTO, ETO, ITO. Every single type of uh, goods that we sell are following a different supply chain flow. And it's not one size fits all. I have to adapt. I have a stock and flow, uh, you know, uh, distribution center type of thing. And then I have super complex engineer to order uh, solutions. So that transition also, the, 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 
uh, there's of course a lot more margins and uh, and high value in the, in the last one here and here it's all about volume and efficiency so uh, very interesting uh, different archetypes and I have chosen uh, one word to transform uh, the supply chain at, at Signify, and it's the, it has a code name, it's called Photon. I don't know if any of you uh, know what, is a f what Photon is, but that's basically the particle that carries light. And uh, I don't know if we have any scientists here, but uh, it has two characteristics, this, this, uh, this particle. Anybody knows? No, yeah, yeah, may maybe one. Okay, we have people interested. That's good. That's good. That's good. Well, it have it has high velocity and it has no mass. I think it's a pretty cool theme for for a supply chain uh, efficiency, and we've built that that program around those two themes: high velocity, no mass, and it's all about agility, speed, cycle time improvement, automation, reduction of waste, and productivity. That's that's a theme that we're tackling on. And of course, the no mass, which is lowering our inventory, our obsolescence, the footprint, the infrastructure. So, so that's the focus that we have. And um, getting to that goal uh, of excellence in, uh, in velocity and, and, and mass, there's discipline. And uh, we're going to talk maybe about you know, selling up uh, big uh, business cases. Discipline is, and maybe you heard this morning from the the general or from the uh, discipline is essential. I would like to share with you just one video that talks about discipline and... Um <coughs> Okay, I, I, I cannot start a transformation towards, you know, uh, creating value, creating whatever, and, and not having... My biggest transformation was about rules and discipline. And it's about defining what excellence is, defining, respecting your, your customer offering, your, the service that you you propose to your customers. It's about having a continuous improvement mindset, lean technologies and practices, Six Sigma. Then it's about acknowledging that you need to readjust your parameters so that they are right. And then, of course, have a superb co collaborative uh, uh, mindset. This is not, a, anybody could tell you it's not transformational. I can tell you it is transformational so that you avoid going back into the hole. Um, so that was essential. And then we build uh, behind that, obviously, execution framework, which is about performance. And here we have about uh, 42 uh, leading and lagging uh, uh, KPIs, some being qualitative and uh, financials, um, quantitative, uh, that are basically telling us what are the leading markets from a supply chain par uh, perspective that are executing right uh, the, the rules and, and discipline that we put. So that's basically the foundation. That's, that's what I had to share with you. It's a bit the, the industry, the context that we are in continuously changing and some of the things that we put in place to um, try to excel. Uh, and uh, we're not there yet, but maybe that's for the, the Q&A. Thank you very much.